Today we're out on the driving range testing out some new drivers from Tour Edge, the 522 series, the C522 and the E522. We'll tell you everything you need to know. We'll do some testing and we'll identify, hey, which golfers are these drivers gonna fit best? So, and of course, you can skip to the final chapter for our final take, all-inclusive thoughts on these new drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Michael Geiger on the driving range. Uh, two new drivers today, both from Tour Edge, the 522 series. Um, all about forgiveness in both, but the two different models and they're very distinct in um, some of the different technologies offered. And the 521 series was awesome. Obviously 522 is gonna follow that up nicely. So um, just looking at these drivers, Michael, um, without even kind of looking well, doing any testing, but sure. also diving into like the tech and stuff. What do you just see out of these drivers? Sure. What do you think we're going to find out based on what you see? Sure. So there's obviously the pro model for those kind of lower handicap players, but these are the two models that I think the majority of Tour Edge customers are mm -hmm. going to kind of be looking at. You have the E522, which really has the most weight, kind of the most uh, forgiveness and, and uh, technology to, to help golfers kind of get the ball up in the air and, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of forgiving shots. And then you have kind of the C522, which really sits in that sort of Goldilocks zone where you get players that will still be able to provide some, some workability, but also plenty of forgiveness. Yeah, absolutely. So let's start with kind of, I think the C522 is probably the most, um, gonna fit the most golfers, I just think because so um, it is kind of, it's a, I mean, you know, in irons there's that game improvement category. I would say this probably falls into that a little bit more. Kind of agree. like your, uh, you know, if like the, the max drivers out there, like your kind of your G425 max, your Sim 2 max, I think the C522 is kind of where that would slide in. Um, a lot of technologies though packed into this thing. Um, the Diamond Face 2.0, as always, and a lot of the Tour Edge, um, you know, golf clubs that kind of diamond pattern, mm -hmm. mini trampolines on the face, explosive ball speed, um, and then big with this. And we're gonna be finding out on the sound and feel here soon with testing. But the upgraded acoustic resonance channels um, gonna provide really distinct, uh, but also like comforting and. Uh, pleasing sound and feel. So that'll be something to look forward to in testing. Definitely, that's definitely the, the most visual thing you see when you look at this club uh, technologically is that that kind of that line, that ridge, that mm -hmm. channel. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see how it affects the, uh, the feel mm -hmm. at impact. Yep, and there also is that the rear weight here, um, which, uh, so it's, it's, a, it's similar to the E20, E522 and it does have a weight pulled back, just not as much. There is a deep weight back here though, pulling that center of gravity back a little bit, helping the ball launch into the air. Um, and then moving on to the E522. So that's gonna be the more forgiving model um, with a kind of more weight pushback with that Houdini sole. So that's yes. gonna basically uh, pretty drastically move that weight back and low. And that's kind of that secret ingredient for forgiveness, MOI, high launch. Yes, if you are a higher handicap player, have no fear, the Houdini sole is here. There's a ton of weight, a ton of, uh, a ton of it's, that weight is really oriented in a way that's really going to make mm -hmm. it super easy to get the ball up in the air. Yeah, and then just you know, there's a more offset with that E522, kind of helping golfers square up that face a little bit more, uh, but also the same club face design, Diamond Face 2.0, um, and then you got actually a shallower face with that E522 as well. So yes. that's going to again help a little bit more with kind of launching that ball into the air for those golfers that maybe either either don't have the swing speed or maybe they just launch the ball low naturally to get that ball up uh, a little bit higher and easier into the air and down the fairway. So um, that's a lot of the tech here involved. And I do want to touch on the stock shaft. It's going to be the Fubuki High Launch Series or HL Series. Um, it's going to be the stock shafts for all these and they have various weights and kind of whether it's regular or stiff flex and then various weight categories as well. So of course our fitting team would be able to fit you into the one that is best for your swing and your game. So um, also of note, 45 inches of the stock length. Yes. So, uh, that's something that is a little bit different from kind of the, the trends in the industry. A lot of them are going 45 and a half, 45 and three quarters, uh, 45 inches. It feels a little shorter. Uh, maybe for me, it'd be a little tougher to get it used to, but um, uh, just by nature, that's going to be a little bit more accurate and maybe not as far, but accurate and probably easier to hit. I really like that move by Tour Edge. I think it really helps it create its own little niche of players that, that want distance, that want to be able to hit the ball high, but also plenty of accuracy. All right. Well, Michael, you ready to do some testing here? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna hit some shots, Michael. Let's do uh, it. Looks like you got the C522 in hand first. Is that this? That's a stiff. Uh, this is 55 grams 50 gram stiff shaft. Okay. The the Fuboki. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you put that club down. Yeah. What does it look like at a dress before hitting any shots? So I think the first thing that I notice is that that kind of glossy uh, finish 
kind of pretty pretty reflective. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got plenty of forgiveness in back. Probably not quite as much as the, the E522, but it's definitely a very inviting profile. Mm -hmm. um, I think especially for the kind of the higher handicap players uh, and mid handicap players that are looking to, to play this club. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay, well, let's see some swings here. All right. Little miss hit. Okay, interesting. It's a loud sound. Definitely. That's loud that's sound. first and foremost. Uh, very kind of that higher pitched, mm -hmm. louder sound at impact. Now, I know this is not probably a fit for you as somebody who generates a lot of spin with driver already. Plus, you got a light shaft club that's kind of a more of a higher spinning uh, yep. driver head than maybe you're used to. So it won't be a fit, but um, we'll take some notes there. I think I, that ball kind of ballooned a little bit. It floated, of, sure. Of miss hit, but I think yeah. it, it did, that high right is sort of my miss, and it, and it came down very softly. So yeah, I think that's encouraging. That's just in the right rough. Mm -hmm. It's similar. Kind of coming back towards the target, maybe a little bit right of it. Definitely not a problem getting this thing in the air, that's for sure. Not getting in the air or really, I mean, hitting it straight. I mean, both of those have been, you, I know you play that cut, um, yep. but both have, I feel like the the cut has not been as pronounced as, um, I know, maybe on some of the other testing we've done yeah. with you. Yeah, it's a, it's a very straight ball flight. Mm -hmm. You can definitely feel that forgiveness working through. Yeah. No one tugged maybe a little, little pull. But it is bringing it back towards the target. I'm curious, distance-wise, uh, that had a similar a similar height. It felt like, but um, that one did go a little further. Okay. Now this this the high spin is kind of taking your or hurting your distance a little bit. Yep. And like I said, this isn't a fit for you per se, but um, but that one went about 10 yards to 12 yards further than the other two. That so. makes sense with the pole. What do you think, Michael, about the uh, feel on that so far? It's definitely, th there's power behind it. You mm -hmm. can definitely feel the weight of all that, that kind of, all that weight and, and forgiveness in the back of the club. You can, yeah. you can really feel it delivered through mm -hmm. the ball. Uh, I think you'll definitely see in the height numbers. Yeah, yeah. It's very easy to yeah. elevate in the air. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's the first thing I've yeah, noticed. Yeah, for sure. That's another one that's very, a very prototypical miss for me. Mm -hmm. So again, encouraging to see it. It's not flying way out of there. I mean, it's not gonna be probably in the fairway. Well, that's, that, I mean, it's, it's one of the, I mean, that's your shot. Just kind of the pull, almost cut it, bring yeah. it back in, clearly. But that's, so I'm encouraged by the fact, now these, these spin numbers, you're generating a ton of spin and then yep. that, the, the shaft plus the club head's already kind of jumping that up. So yep. we know this isn't quite a fit, but the, the distance consistency is pretty darn good. Obviously, the one that you pulled over there kind mm -hmm. of went further, which is to be expected. But Absolutely. Look on this map, you can kind of see it even there. So you got kind of three near each other, one a little left, but still fairway bound. Yep. And then one was kind of way out there left. But um, so, and then I'm going to look at the, talk about the height here. So, um, I mean, we've done gyro testing with you before. You're probably, what, 120 feet in the air? Around so a little that, bit higher yeah. than normal, but kind of a mid high. Like, That's what yeah, I, yeah. Not like outrageously high. Um, average height was 145 here. Yeah. So it, it's, um, and I know you're not, you're not the, the proto, the you know, perfect player to test this club probably. Um, and that's going to be the same with E522, but, um, it, you know, easy to get the ball. Off but uh, yeah, I think that's a good point. I mean, that's, we're talking 15% higher distance, uh, it's height numbers. And I think that's what plenty of amateurs can look for as mm -hmm. well. If you're looking to get that next level of height, this clearly is delivering that. Okay. Well, E522 now is only probably going to increase that height number. Let's, so. let's hope so. So that was the one I got way ahead of. Fired okay. the hips, late delivery. That should be probably 20 yards right of the fairway. And that was, that was a pretty encouraging yeah. result. Yeah. Um, and so I, we should mention, right, regular shaft here. Yeah. The last one was a stiff shaft, the C522. This is a regular shaft. So that's going to throw things a little bit kind of off here. but. Um, I don't know. I did. Did you feel a difference in the well, the feel, but also the sound? A little bit. It felt not quite as high pitched, not quite yeah, as loud. It wasn't as high pitched. I, I noticed that. Yeah. It was a little bit of a. It's certainly different. I think it was almost more like mellowed. A touch type. subtle. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Which I think is surprising because usually you think like of the most 
you would think the, bigger head, yeah, louder bigger sound, head, lower higher center pitched. gravity, more more hollow area. You think of yep. louder noise, but. Look at that one. There's the height. That's a straight ball. So, and the, the funny thing is, there's actually some wind coming in from the left. It's off, yeah, kind of in off the left. It was actually remarkably straight, given that. So, that's noteworthy there. That that's, one's the height of 60, 163 feet. Again, small sample size so far, but with both drivers, just the straightness of the ball flight yeah. has really jumped mm -hmm. out. There's the height. There's the high right. <laughs> Wind's bringing that one a bit over. That won't be on. Uh, that won't be seen on the normalization here. But luckily for me, so yeah. Overall, it's I mean a little bit right of center, but I mean it, it's also a, a lesson here in how spin can kill distance. I mean I've now, learned that again, lesson again, again and again. Again, this is uh, a not a fit for you, but someone that does need more spin and more height can clearly see the benefits. It's of, of it's these there drivers. in spades. It's there for sure. Little pull, but just such easy distance. Yeah. Such easy height. That's, I mean, it's so accurate too. It's bringing it back. Yeah. That's a fourth fairway ball with this one. One more. So just a little bit more left on that little one. Little pull. That'll probably be your farthest ball. You may have flown the net back there. You know, I, I think words like forgiveness and, and extra distance kind of get thrown around, thrown around a lot and can kind of sometimes wash over golfers, but I, I can't emphasize enough yeah. how easy this thing launches the ball. In yeah, the yeah, yeah. So, and that's what we should note too. These, these drivers are especially geared towards golfers that need the extra help getting the ball into the air yep. and kind of far and straight towards the target. Um, now, you know, I wouldn't say you're the type of golfer that needs help getting the ball off the ground. That's debatable, um, but, but yeah, there are you're a lot probably out right. There that, that need that, and that's why these clubs are built that way. The Houdini sole, yes, a ton of weight back and low in the club head, and we saw that with the in the numbers here. I'm looking at them now. Uh, the E522 was higher by six feet on average. Both clubs, though, of course, easy height, mm -hmm. easy launch into the air and let Effortless. that thing carry. So I know that's one thing Thomas likes to harp on is that he prefers carry distance over total distance, really when measuring any club, mm -hmm. because you know. The carry distance is what it is on, you know, on dry or firm turf, that t total can be a little different. The right. carry, it's going to land at that spot. Um, and so I will say too, uh, your carry distances are pretty consistent here. You can see, obviously the E522 a little shorter. Yep. It was kind of more, more spin and height on that one. Yep. Um, but you have really, out, of, of these 10 shots, you have one that was pulled way left um, with the C522. Otherwise the rest are fairway balls. Yeah. There. So pretty it, consistent, it, pretty easy to keep straight too. Even like your misses or maybe your bad yeah. swings were still flying relatively straight. But I think, yeah, I think that's important, that consistency point, because those are my misses. And yeah. so I'm not worried by that one left because that, that's just part of, that's kind of in my swing yeah. DNA. It's really encouraging to see that the misses are corrected a little bit and the distances are very, mm -hmm. very consistent. Yeah. I mean, solid performers here based on what I know about your swing and what you're telling me that this, they're, they're correcting some of the wrongs that happen in, yep. in, your, in you know, anybody's golf swing. Of course. Um, but then it's also providing the easy launch, that easy height that some golfers need. Very impressed. Um, so Michael, contesting complete of the drivers in the Tour Edge 522 series, C522 and E522. Um, I mean, the verdict is I think they're both really easy to hit. There's, there is enough of a difference in both of them. We noticed that even sound and feel just off the bat. Yep. But um, I mean, what did you, quick takeaways here from, from testing? Again, the, the forgiveness is, is huge. I think, as I mentioned earlier, that, that word gets thrown around a lot, but especially the, the E22, E522 in particular is the most hittable driver I've, I've ever seen. It's okay. such easy, it, it's very, when you stand over the ball with a 45 inch shaft, it's a bit shorter. You're gonna get a bit more accuracy. You get that nice, big, inviting profile. And, and you just feel like you can't miss it. it it's mm -hmm. a very, very confidence building club. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so just to, to kind of recap, I wanted to, again, uh, note the differences between the two. Mm -hmm. So the C522, kind of the, the, the key technology that's unique there compared to the E522 is the, the upgraded acoustic resonance channel. Well, yep. there's kind of two of them, there's kind of one here and then one towards the back 
um, really tuning that sound and feel. Uh, in addition to the Diamond Face 2.0, uh, which is on both of them, mm -hmm. um, things like that. But and then the E522, you have that Houdini sole that is kind of on really all of Tour Edge's kind of max game improvement clubs, where they really try to emphasize, you know deep and low center of gravity yep. to increase and, and make easier the launch into the air. And so the key difference is there, both are kind of built for your, um, you know, I guess players that need a little bit of help, yep. right? Yep. Um, I would think Larry Bobka likes to use the term user friendly. Um, I would say both of these drivers fit into there. I think there's just a little bit more uh, help with launch and height yes. with the E522. I think you also mentioned uh, the Acoustic Resonance channel. I think we both noticed the C522, a bit higher pitched, yeah. a bit louder. So again, that's that's also sort of a user preference thing. If you prefer uh, a yeah. bit more a bit more noise at impact, I, I'd encourage you to look at the C522 versus the more muted E522. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've done the hitting on both now. Um, with your expertise, trying to maybe Give us the, the golfers that will be best fit into each of these. And I know there'll be some crossover sure. in terms of the demographics, right? Because they're kind of similar. But, um, you know, E522 and C522, golfers that fit each. Yeah, so I'd say for the C522, anywhere from a, a middle handicapper, kind of up to that, starting to get into that kind of fringe upper handicapper level. And then I would say the E522 is the, the, the picture perfect high handicap driver. If you are someone who struggles hitting the driver, who, who tries to hit three woods or irons off the tees, I, I cannot encourage you enough to give this driver a real chance. It, it makes teeing off so much easier. Mm -hmm. I love to hear that because I know uh, there are a lot of golfers out there and you, know, you know you get to that maybe point in your life where you, your swing speed slows down and suddenly yep. the nine or 10 degree drivers that you're used to playing, you can't quite get them up in the air enough. And we get these comments like this all the time. And what is the recommendation uh, you have for a player like that? Well. Nice that we now we can have a go-to here. It's the E522 from, from Tour Edge. Uh, great option here, and the performance today showed that Absolutely. the launch is easy. Absolutely. So golfers, if you are one of those players, maybe uh, that swing speed's dipping a little bit, or maybe you need a little bit extra help getting the ball into the air, Tour Edge E522, or of course, you're just looking for more forgiveness and a great feeling and sounding driver as well. The C522 is another option there, both from Tour Edge and that 522 series. Excellent options. Stop into a Second Swing store, schedule a fitting with our experts, or visit secondswing.com for more information. Um, Michael, thank you for joining today, providing your expertise, hitting all the shots. Good stuff today. Drew, it was a pleasure.